It's a peer-led traffic safety initiative, which aims to really reduce the leading cause of death for teens, which are traffic crashes. My goodness, several high schools in mid-Michigan are participating, including H.H. Dow in Midland, joining us this morning to talk more about it. Our Will Cooper and Emily Bonter, how are you both? Good. Good. Oh, we're so glad that you're here. Thank you. So why do you think that safe driving is so important, especially at your age? Uh, definitely because a uh, teen... Uh, Distracted driving causes 50% of accidents in teens, and it's something that we want to focus on our... Uh... We want to focus on bringing good incentives to driving for a safer drive and um, getting more people involved help brings awareness to the project. Yeah, and I love it because when a peer tells another peer something, a lot of times, sometimes that <laughs> sticks a little better than, you know, an adult doing. So I love what you're doing. So your school received a $1,000 grant for this campaign. What are you doing to really educate your classmates about safe driving? What are some of the activities you're doing? So one of the events we're hosting is a trivia event. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask uh, st the student body different questions about distracted driving or driving in general. And then we'll have them spin a wheel and see if they win anything. And then so this is all a part of our of our big campaign where the grand prize winner who is going to be someone who participates all throughout the week. So this week we're hosting events like this today we're hosting uh, where people where the students are going to sign a pledge. Um, they were having that trivia. We're having a driving simulator come on Wednesday, oh. and we're just doing, we're hosting different events throughout the week. So as students participate, they uh, uh, they will they will be entered into a drawing yeah. to win uh, a pair of AirPods. Oh, great! Yeah, we also have um, impaired bowling where we wear impaired goggles, and then we have to <laughs> bowl. And then the more pins you knock down, the bigger prize you get. And our grant was given to us from Strive for a Safer Drive, um, Ford Motor Company, and the Office of Highway and Safety Patrol. It's from Ford Motor Company. Well, we thank them all for doing that because we definitely need this message to get out there. And yes, I like it that yes, you're indeed. doing these hands-on activities, guys, because that's the way to really get the message home to kids by actually seeing how things are impacted and seeing how, you know, you need to really drive safely out there to protect yourselves as well as those around you. So right. tell me, how has this really impacted you both? this program uh so so we actually did this last year yeah. and it was one of my favorite things that we did and it went along with uh, a program here that we used to run called project 111 which the whole idea was to promote safe driving in teens and that was a program we ran for a long time and we actually saw a difference in our local community in uh both traffic accidents um and just tr uh, tr uh driving uh like tickets and stuff like that wow. so uh, this this campaign was another way that we were able to continue that project because Project 11 disbanded a few years ago. And so this is like kind of its legacy and it's something that gets the student body really involved and people really enjoy doing. So Yeah, I love it that you can you actually see how the program is working and how it helps. That is awesome. What message do you want your peers to get from this? We want them to be more responsible on the road and we like no phone use, um, yes. things like that, because it is very, it's not good at all what happens when you're driving distracted. Um, your it's reaction a, time is terrible and it's a law for a reason. You know, I love it. And no TikToking when you're driving. No right? TikToking. No TikTok. <laughs> okay. Too much time on there already. That's right. That's a great message. Thank you both for being here. Yep. We appreciate you and good luck with your program. Thank you for having us. Of course, you're so welcome. We love it that they're here. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM 4 p.m. news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. news spotlight.